We're here at 5304 Elston in Virginia Beach. We'll take a quick peek uh, around your neighborhood here. There's a lot of pathways back here, so a lot of you'll see a lot of people walking. Um, beautiful area to run uh, along the side of the entrance when you when you originally come into this area. Uh, you'll see you have a, a pool right in front um, of this subdivision, which you can uh, go swimming at. Uh, it is neat. You can actually uh, rinse it out uh, as well uh, and go in there. I think uh, it's a $50 deposit, if I'm not mistaken. You might want to double check with your leasing agents on that one, uh, which you do receive back. Uh, it's just, you know, if, if there were any damages. But it is definitely nice to be able to go over there and kind of rent that pool area and, and, and kind of relax. So definitely nice. Uh, I believe there will be a picture up on our website if you want to take a look at that. Uh, otherwise, again, you can contact our leasing agents. Uh, you can reach 757-395-4274. But uh, obviously, as we come in, real neutral colors all throughout the house. Uh, recently been painted, uh, as in a, a few days ago. Today is uh, May 28th, 2014. You do have a nice fireplace down here. Uh, there's actually uh, granite down there at the bottom, if you can't really tell uh, from the video. It is a gas fireplace as well. Uh, some of the windows are closed, uh, but there is quite a bit of natural light in here still. Uh, you do have a nice uh, overhead ceiling fan as well. Uh, there's been some speakers that have been left behind, so you do have pretty much a nice little surround sound uh, system going on in here as well. Uh, again, this is a nice little storage closet as you come in, coat closet, whatever you want to look at it as. Uh, these are some of the kitchens that I love the most. So uh, you have obviously your uh, kind of dining area, but I love this little section right here where the uh, where it comes out where you can actually kind of stay out of the chef's way, but uh, still allows you to, you know, definitely be, uh, be in the loop, keep the, keep the chef in the loop of what's going on and uh, stay in the conversation there. So real nice appliances down here as well. Uh, you have a, a nice black and, and stainless steel appliances, a lot of cabinet space. I do love the open pass-through though, again, uh, obviously allowing you guys to uh, hang out with the, with the chef while they do their thing. Uh, so quite a, quite a nice stove uh, as well we have here. Uh, a newer LG stove, very nice. Uh, over here though, we do have a washer and dryer, which will be stained, so uh, definitely a nice little feature there that you guys don't have to worry about uh, that will be remaining here in the property. You do have a, a bath down here, so when you have a, a half bath, excuse me, so when you do come uh, have some guests over or anything, or even as you're watching TV or something, you don't have to come all the way back upstairs to, uh, to use the facilities there. So coming outside, you do have quite a nice little uh, patio area. We'll take a quick peek out here so you can see you have a, a good sized storage shed in here as well. I'll let you guys take a peek right there so you can see. Pretty good sized storage space. There's a light up above so uh, you can hang anything and still see. Uh, over here though, again, quite a bit of space. Um, really nice. I mean, you can stick a couple lawn chairs out here and, uh, and really have a relaxing uh, afternoon. Uh, put a little patio furniture out there and even uh, have a little barbecue or something. So definitely nice. But we'll uh, head upstairs so you guys can see. Uh, the actual living area. So coming up here, it is carpeted as you come up to the second floor. Obviously downstairs uh, it was not. Uh, again, all neutral colors really throughout the whole house there. So we'll swing over to the left first and start over here. So really kind of a, a two master suite situation uh, going on in this house, which I really, really uh, like a lot. So up here again, you do have a ceiling fan. Again, a lot of natural light coming in through here. Uh, you do have more or less the same bathroom. Kind of a unique mirror, so it's hard to not really get me in here. Actually, I managed to do so. Uh, but you do have a shower over here as well uh, with another light up above uh, right there. Uh, this is quite a large closet as well, too. So you do have a walk-in closet. I like kind of this custom uh, cabinetry that you have here. So you can stick your shoes, your hats, coats, pants, all sorts of different stuff. If you don't have enough to fill it up, go shopping. Uh, plenty of space in there. This is a really neat room right here. I like this. So... Technically, it is a two bed, two and a half bath. However, this is kind of a, a neat little feature here. You can utilize the space as uh, kind of a nursery, a little office, uh, game room, whatever you guys want to make it. But I really like this space. So it's just kind of a room sandwiched in between the two bedrooms here. Uh, you do have a linen closet off to the right. And then over here, we have our master bedroom. So again, another ceiling fan up above. Uh, good sized closet right there. Just give you one more view. Uh, and then coming over here, we do have our other bathroom. I'm not sure I can avoid not saying, oh, I did it again. How about that? <laughs> well, we do have a, a, another shower head so, uh, in here. So again, uh, another full bathroom uh, in here. I like the little space right here so you can actually uh, do the makeup or, or get ready in the morning and you still have a little uh, place to sit down. So it's kind of neat. And you do have that kind of 
three-way mirror there, so I kind of like that really neat uh, feature there, kind of unique. But that'll pretty much wrap it up for 5304 uh, Elston. Uh, come fill out an application now.